Welcome back. Um, well, with spending about a year of significant time at home, many people have had plenty of time to evaluate their living arrangements, and this, coupled with historically low interest rates, has increased the number of first-time home buyers. And buying a home, it can seem overwhelming. That's why we've got Jay Myers, loan officer at Rock Mortgage, here to explain the process and, one of my favorite things, to debunk a few mortgage myths. Jay, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Yeah. So many believe that a uh, potential home buyer should make a down payment of 20%. You hear that a lot. Now, is that true fact or myth? That is actually a myth. 20% uh, is a number that's get thrown around a lot. And that is a good number to have. But in all reality, the average is actually around 6%. And if you get with the correct mortgage professional, there are a lot of programs out there that require even less than that. You know, there's... Uh, VA loans for active military and for retired military that might require zero down. There is a USDA program that uh, a lot of areas in Arkansas qualify for that's actually zero down. Fannie Mae has a home ready product that's actually as low as 3% down. So there's a lot of different programs out there, but the actual overall average is around 6% right now. That is very interesting. Let's talk for a second about credit score levels. So first time home buyers might think they need that perfect credit score to qualify. Is that accurate? That's actually also a myth. Obviously the higher the credit score, the better it is, but what they're actually looking for is probably somewhere around a 640 credit score. Uh, also a lot of other factors they look at though. They need your debt to income to be 50% or less. It's very important to have steady income. You know, like to have two years of job income so need to have some money for your down payment and for your closing costs. There's a lot of factors that go into it. So it's not, if you don't have a seven or 800 credit score, you still need to look at it because there are, again, a lot of programs and a lot of the factors that lenders look at to get you approved. For sure. And let's take a moment also to talk about a big one and that's student debt. Is it true student loans must be paid off before acquiring a mortgage? Absolutely not true. It is, there's a lot of young people, a lot of first time buyers that have student debt. And again, that is something they look at along with your, you know, your income. If your income's high enough to cover your payments on your stu student debt, it does not have to be paid off. So that is, that is absolutely false. You can still have that and purchase your first home. That's great information to hear. And I know that another thing that people think about that it's, it's easy to think that the first thing to do is to start looking at homes and then apply for a mortgage. Is that true? That's actually absolutely false. And that's probably one of the biggest things right now that is completely backwards. The best way to do it right now is to find a mortgage lender that you trust and that you like and go to them first and get pre-approved uh, for a lot of reasons. One, it kind of puts what budget you need to be in. So you're not looking at houses that you can't afford or that are not gonna work. And also there's so sellers right now, they're getting multiple offers on houses. So if you go make an offer on a house and you have your pre-approved letter, then they know it's more serious. They know that you're going to get the deal done. So find someone you like and trust on the on the front end, work with them on what program's the best, then go find your home that you like and have that pre-qualification letter with you. And it's going to make the process a lot easier and smoother and better for you. That's awesome. Jay, thank you so much for joining us. And Busting Myths, it's one of my favorite things. We've got the information right there on your screen about how you can reach out to the professionals at Rock Mortgage. We're also going to have a link over on our website, gooddaynwa.com. Have a great day, Jay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Absolutely.